Here, take these, will you? Uh, Kirk! Zane! Zane! Beef? Um, welcome home. I can't believe it, you're- Alive? Yes. I apologize for my concern. Everyone was worried. And I didn't know if I was going to see you again. And so I- Beef. I'm fine. I'm home now. Good. I'm thankful for this moment. I promise. I'll always come back. Where is he? Where is my husband? Good heavens. No. Not my son. I'm truly sorry. Most weren't so lucky. You did everything you could. This was still a victory, yes? It wasn't. Bravi escaped, but he won't get far. Ara managed to damage the Banshee he was in. The Orokai are hunting for him as we speak. It was my fault he escaped. No. Don't put that weight on your shoulders. It was no one's fault. <sighs> this is the harsh reality of War Master. I dreaded not continuing on for much longer. No. What the people need to hear is the real truth. What truth? Stand and watch, Ara. What brings you here, Master Quator? To speak to our people, at your request, of course. <laughs> oh, of, of course. No need to request such a position. Thank you. Hello brothers and sisters, today we accomplish something grand, we strike against the might of the current, and turned out victorious yet again. Our mission was not carried out, but we have our target on the run. We could not have exceeded this without loss, I know you all fear the covenant, and rightfully so. However, he who fears to be conquered, is sure of defeat, but we of the mountain clan, are not made for defeat. Today. We are all warriors, and heroes of Sahelios. Zane, wait! Quite the speech. I'm sure your son, Ara, fought bravely. Hmm. You think so? Be proud. Eventually a time will come when your son will take your place as chief. When he does, he had better be ready. On to more pressing matters, we need to remain low. The Covenant will be looking for us, and they won't hesitate to show remorse about wiping out our people. We need to get the women and children somewhere safe. An attack is imminent. Zaimam uh, is. Chief. Where are you going? This is important. Something also important just came up. I shall rally with you later. You may want to rethink your hiding spot. I've lived here all my life. I know when something is out of place. Very perceptive of you. It's a gift. Why are you here? Why did you follow? Because I obviously care. You're acting differently. So, what's wrong? My father used to take me to this place. He said it was the best view in all of Sanghelios. Right where I'm standing. He said that someday, I would help lead the people into a prosperous future. As a child, I believed him, but that was long ago. 
Things have changed. You're right. Things have changed. But you carry that ability to change it for yourself. What do you want? I want peace. Then let's have it. Let me help you get away from all of this. The loss. The violence. Everything. You're talking about abandoning my people. They aren't just your people. You always have a choice. You're asking me to betray my father, my uncle, my mother. No, Zane. I'm asking you to make a choice. You don't want this luck. That isn't for you to decide. I'm not deciding anything. It's what you want that matters to me. Leave. Say Leave! Me. Wait, um, I'm sorry. A life without sovereignty, war or loss, is the life I want. You're right, and I'm sorry I took out my grief on you. I just have so much here I can't leave behind. I'm not asking you to leave anything behind. This will always be your choice, because that's what everyone is gifted with. A choice. If I made this choice, would you come with me? Zane, I will join you, no matter what decision you make. Can I have time to think about this? Take your time. I will continue to wait on you. But why? Why me? Isn't it obvious? There's a spark inside you. Good night, Zane. Good night, Neith. Father? Lower the weapon, boy. Now! I'm sorry, Father. I thought you were someone else. Tell me, son. If I wasn't who you thought I was, would you have pulled the trigger? Would you have taken my life? Father, what are you asking? Tell me, would you have taken my life if I was one of them, or would you have hesitated? Father, I- What are you trying to tell me? You're weak, Ara. A child of mine is supposed to eventually take my place one day as chief. However, my dear son, you are not ready nor will you ever be. Please, I- No, son. You have disappointed me. You are not meant to be chief. You are no war- And you are no father of mine. My own flesh and blood. Disowning me for never living up to the perfect image of a son he's always wanted. You failed as a father, and you're failing worse as a chief of the Mounted Clan. You watch your tone with me. No. No? Is that so? Without me, boy, you would have been dead long ago. You survived because of me. I survived because of Master Quator, not you. I'm sorry I'm not the perfect son you wanted. I'm not you, and I see that now. Hopefully you'll one day come to your terms, but as of right now, I think it's time you leave. Leave while you can, Ara. This war isn't meant for you. If it doesn't kill you first, then in time, it will consume you. You're lucky I don't banish you myself. If you do leave, I'd rather it be on your own accord and you say goodbye to your mother. 
think about it. Welcome to the Covenant. Our Brotherhood of Sangheili remains stronger than ever here. I expect nothing but loyalty from you all. The great journey awaits us, but you'll only get there by pledging yourself to the Covenant so that the faithful will be propelled into a prosperous future. Now say the oath. Let me hear what you've learned. According to our station, all without exception, on the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons, we swore to uphold the covenant, even to our dying breath, that those who break this oath are heretics, will they have neither pity nor mercy. Even now, they use our Lord's creations to broadcast their lives. We shall grind them into dust, and to continue our lives to glorious salvation. Does a rabbi? have your tongue, or is there another reason you refuse to recite the oath with your brothers? These aren't my brothers. Ah, so the world does speak. Tell me, do you lack honor? Answer me, you brain dead imbecile. Can your brothers trust you when you're finally placed on the front lines? We are not brothers. Ah. Ultra, and Quiro requests a meeting with one of your warriors. By all means, but I'm not finished with this one. Actually, he specifically requested for him. Is that so? Well, one way or another, you're going to learn real quick. And it seems the General will be the one to teach you after all. Fall out of formation. <sighs> what are you looking at? Eyes forward! Master Aguirre, the new lens you requested is here. Is there anything else you would have me do? Your services are appreciated. You may leave, Major. I heard... Interesting. About you. My condolences about your uncle. You was a fool, anyways. Indeed. Never would I imagine the next in line to be chief would turn his back on his own people. They turned theirs on me long before. My uncle was nothing but a fat slob, wasting away until his legs began to buckle under his own weight. They never understood you. But I do. Why am I here? For training, of course. Here's your chance to get back at those who wronged you. Typhus? We don't need to do this. I, I plead to you, brother. We are of the same clan. 
We are not brothers. Get up! Defend yourself! Don't mind him. If he's unwilling to defend himself, then war will eat him alive. Major, get him to his feet and have him fall in line with the other miners. Coward! You dare strike your own people? In the Covenant, we are all the same people. There is no Sky Clan here. I've waited this moment for so long. You arrogant son of once a great chief. You'll have to keep waiting then. Excellent. A skill I was not expecting to see out of a new lens. Perhaps a new contender. To challenge you would be more suitable. Major, step in. Challenge, you say? Are there any more contenders with more than half a brain who could take me? Oh yes, I suppose there is. How about I take on your challenge? Make your move, boy. Indeed skilled, but you're stubborn and driven by a bloodlust. A moment will come when your enemy will be down and exactly where you want him. But the moment you let your guard down and your ego takes, you will be killed. On your feet. You acquire discipline, but I will say this. Maybe falling in line with the other miners isn't for you. You're no pushover, so I have something else in mind for you. Atan, we need to talk. Geneva, what is this about? It's about the same. Please. Walk with me. Okay. I'm worried for my son. He is an exceptional warrior with a good heart. He stepped up ever since what happened to Anubis. His father would be proud. That's the thing. He's not Anubis. I don't know what to do for him. He's changed so much since he was that wide-eyed adventurous boy that I knew long ago. You're right. He is no Anubis. He's Zane. I overheard him talking to that young rescued one. Neith? They spoke of him leaving. And how did he respond? He's confused. I know that deep down he's hurting. He didn't say yes. And he didn't say no. Sounds to me like the boy hasn't made his decision. He shouldn't turn back on his blood. Neef is presenting him with more options, and I, as his uncle, appreciates her concern. But if he doesn't have an answer, then there is nothing to discuss. But he's my son, and as his mother, I can't bear the thought of losing the only blood I have left to the Covenant. He's already deep into this war. We all are. There is no turning back now, Geneva. All we can do is stand and fight for our clan. For our freedom. He's grown so much. Are you proud of him? I am. Come, let me walk you home. Okay, thank you. Anubis would be pleased with you. I'm sure he would. The same with you. <laughs> <laughs>